Hello friends, welcome back to the Manhattan Project. I am Todd and I'm making a cocktail called Blood and Sand today. Um, if you watch the channel, you know we don't make a whole lot of long form content as far as cocktails outside of uh, Manhattans. Um, we are going to be ramping up our Manhattan making here in the coming weeks and so I wanted to save some of these uh, nice American whiskeys that uh, I've been accumulating. So uh, that when uh, Jesse gets back and we start shooting again, I'll have plenty to plenty of content. So Blood and Sand is a cocktail that I was introduced to a couple weeks ago when we were visiting friends. Uh, Susan, she uh, she showed this to me, and uh, I was very impressed with it. Uh, very tasty cocktail. Apparently, this one goes back to uh, the 1930s. Um, like a lot of cocktails of that day, the origins are a little unknown, but uh, the widely accepted theory is that it was named after a, a movie in the, from the 1920s, a silent movie called Blood and Sand, which was uh, apparently about a uh, bullfighting. So that's a little bit of brief history. Um, damn it. I'm back again. I had to get the jigger. All right, so what's nice, one thing that's nice about this cocktail is uh, it's equal parts of everything, everything you see here. Um, so if you were to uh, want to scale this up for a couple people, it would be quite easy. So uh, the recipe calls for um, three quarters of ounce orange juice, and of course, three quarters ounce cherry herring. Um, so the weekend that I tried this cocktail, um, the first time, uh, it was made with scotch and it was good. Um, and the recipe actually calls for scotch. So then, uh, I went back and the second time I used an American whiskey, it actually wasn't as good. The, uh, the peatiness of the scotch helps a lot. And it made it much more complex and interesting. So uh, I don't really like scotch. So this is quite a departure for me. And then the final ingredient is vermouth, sweet vermouth. Uh, the recipe also says to use a scotch that is not highly peated. And as you can see, today we were using, I'm using a Dewar's. And this is a blended scotch whiskey. I think it's kind of like a... Kind of like a, uh, you know, entry level scotch, you know, nothing fancy, nothing expensive. So, uh, shake or tin with ice, and we're going to give this a, uh, about a 20 second shake. Probably double strain, but um, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to. Uh, I'll mine a few ice chips. And as you can see, the color of this is very much reminiscent of the, uh, the name. It's got a dark caramel color, and it reminds me a lot of what it may look like to uh, mix blood and sand. So here it is, blood and sand. Cheers. Yeah, I, in fact, I think I like this one better than the one that I had down there. Um, they were using a uh, peatier scotch, and this one's much more mellow. This is a great, well-balanced cocktail. Highly recommend it. And uh, that's about going to do it for, for me today. Uh, that is about going to do it for me today. Uh, go out and try this. Cheers.